It feels like all eyes are on Joe Biden. He's leading in the polls. You've basically said that he's the leader at this point. Why do you think he's doing so well? Well, in South Carolina, Joe Biden has a long history. And I don't know why uh, people just overlook the fact that he is a guy uh, that spends all, uh, at least most, of his time away from Delaware uh, when he's not traveling someplace else. It, South Carolina is almost like a second uh, home to him. When you look at the names that I hear when I talk about South Carolina are Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, and Cory Booker. Sure. But Kamala Harris and Cory Booker's poll numbers have been kind of stagnant. What do you make of how they're doing in the state right now? Well, you know, that's been a, a, a little bit of, of, of an amazement to me as well, uh, because I thought, sure, uh, that there would be uh, much more of a surge. Um, and I can't quite figure that out yet. Kamala hasn't spelled out the policy stuff, but her vision, I think, is great. I think she has expressed a tremendous vision. So it's a good top uh, line, but you got to get below the That's line. exactly right. That's exactly right. That, that's, uh, that puts it well. And, you know, uh, Booker has done some of that. Um, uh, but um, I don't know. Uh, I think um, he is, is suffering uh, from uh, the shadows, coming out from under the shadows of Barack Obama. Uh, and, of course, uh, I just thought Kamala, because this seems to be the year of the black woman, uh, I thought she, that she would be the searching a little more than she is. But you've come under a little bit of scrutiny. You're not endorsing in this no. process, but you've come under a little bit of scrutiny recently for the way in which you've talked about Joe Biden, people like Bakari Sellers saying that you're tacitly endorsing him, even if you're not outright saying it. What do you make of that criticism? I don't pay any attention to that stuff. Um, he's free to think what he wants to. Uh, I'm probably closer, and I think I said uh, that uh, I'm pretty close to about 12 of these people. I'm co-sponsoring legislation with Elizabeth Warren uh, to do something about student debt. I'm co-sponsoring legislation with Cory Booker on 10-20-30, an economic development plan. I'm co-sponsoring legislation uh, with Bernie Sanders, uh, extending um, community health centers. But I'll tell you why Bernie Sanders is doing as well as he's doing. Despite the uh, socialism despite, label. Yes. Because people are becoming disenchanted uh, with aspects of capitalism. Uh, when you tell a person that we cannot put broadband in your community uh, because it's not profitable, when you tell a person we aren't going to build schools, remember, Brown v. Board of Education came out of a decision that black folks were not paying enough taxes in Clarendon County, South Carolina, uh, for them to provide them with school buses. So when you put a price on someone's health, you put a price on someone's education, you are undercutting what capitalism is supposed to be about. And so I think that's why uh, the so-called democratic socialism is getting a toehold, is because people are becoming disenchanted uh, with the barons of capitalism, and we have got to be very careful about that. And I think that we've already uh, opened up Pandora's box. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.